Most of the stock that I buy these days is 140mm wide by 45mm thick. The jointing process will take that down to about 135mm wide by about 40mm, sometimes a little bit thicker. Often my projects don't call for stock that's that thick, so I'll end up taking it to the bandsaw to rip off a good chunk of it because while I could do it through the thicknesser, it's just a little bit quicker on the bandsaw and I don't wear out the knives on my thicknesser quite as quickly. Problem is these pieces that get ripped off are perhaps a little bit too thick to just throw away, but without them being jointed, there's also not a lot I can do with them. They're a little bit too thin to glue up and make something out of. So today what I'm gonna do is show you my process of turning these thicker pieces into thinner pieces at the thicknesser so that I can use them for veneers or for bed lamination. The thinnest my thickness I will go down to is about five, six millimeters, which is too thick for veneer, but could work for bed lamination. However, I'd like to go a little bit skinnier than that. So we need to make a sled. Okay, saying we're making a sled might be a little bit generous. This is a piece of MDF that's just slightly narrower than the bed of my thicknesser. And the length is really just a little bit longer than the longest piece that I'd want to turn into veneer. I've got a stop here. Uh, the grain is important. It is going that direction. The same direction we'll be feeding this through the thicknesser. Uh, and this is just hardwood glued onto the MDF. The whole thing's been coated with some uh, amber shellac, and that's basically to stop us from ripping up the MDF too much. Process is very simple. We're gonna use some double-sided tape. You can use the blue tape and uh, super glue trick. I found that actually grabbed onto the sled a little bit too much and started bending and cracking the hardwood. Uh, so the double-sided tape's got a bit less grab to it, but that might depend on what super glue you've got. Alternatively to uh, double-sided tape, you could use CA directly or you could use some hot glue. I've got the tape here, so it's nice and easy. So now we can feed this whole jig through the thicknesser. Piece of wood's about eight millimeters, and we've got 16 millimeters for the sled. So under 24 millimeters, we'll start actually cutting into the wood. I ended up running out of double-sided tape while processing this batch, so I had to use the super glue and CA trick. I found that the thinner CA actually worked quite well for that. But now I have a good pile of veneers, or almost veneers. Further processing can be done at the drum sander, or I could go on the thicknesser if I wanted to. These are plenty flexible, uh, but at this stage I can leave them a little bit thicker than what I need and then depends on what project I'm doing, I can get them down to final thickness then. You wouldn't use a drum sander to reduce the thickness of this too much because it's just gonna to take too long. If you've got a wide belt sander, that's a completely different tool and that can certainly do it. Anyway, a very short video and a simple trick for getting the most out of your offcuts. Thanks for watching.